It's time for Join Us Interactive and Ifwa Kwari seeing us here as always with a gold standard smile. Hello Israel and this is the part of the bulletin where you get to join us with your comments via all our social media pages. We are on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. You can also find us on Twitter at join news on TV. You can hashtag join news prime and then of course you can find us via email. It's join news I am at multitvworld.com or you can send your messages via WhatsApp up the number is zero five six zero eight zero 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 the whatsapp number again is zero five six zero eight zero 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 israel i will read your messages on whatsapp please add your name and location now the show is brought to you by airtel enjoy more talk longer text and more internet browsing with airtel too much packs just dial star two zero two hash now we'll be right back to get into the discussions right after this Joy News Interactive is brought to you. All right, let's continue the discussion on the most topical issue this week. And in fact, last started last week. Now, working as a journalist comes with certain risks and challenges. But when you move on to start investigating crime and reporting on the ills of society, your risks double. Like Anas Arumiyao Anas, his latest expose on the judiciary has caused a huge uproar with the suit hanging over the fate of making his latest work public. It has also prompted calls for Anas to be granted protection as he continues to carry out his work. So what do you think? Should Anas Arumiyao Anas be granted protection by our security agencies? Anas, no one even knows him. Even those who know him won't give him out. So why does he need police? Because even the police, they need protection themselves. I don't think he needs a police protection. If he, he, if we get him a police protection, that means that we've exposed the person. He can no more go on and do any investigations. The nature of the work he's doing uh, it requires the protection to guide him, considering the fact that it's an investigative work that he's doing. He can't just go out for people to see him. So definitely he will need that protection to do the undercover work that he's doing. For Anas can take off himself or herself. I don't know who Anas is, but I think Anas is okay if he can do all this stuff on his own or it's, if it's an organization, they're taking care of themselves. So I don't think they need any protection yet. He needs police protection just because he's doing the right thing and the judges might worry him. You need it? Police protection. Why? Because his life is in dangerous. Mm -hmm. Normally, we know we live in Ghana, we have a peace, peace people in the, in the world, but this world that is doing is a dangerous world. You need police, uh, police protection. Why? Oh, well, but the police institution is corrupt. You see, the police and the judge, they are all corrupt, so I don't think he needs police protection. Now, this particular question has over 900 comments on Facebook. Let's see what a few of you are saying on there. Asunaba Dapa says, nope, he will be betrayed by the same police protecting him. Someone would bribe the police, then harm Anas. And Nia J says, do you know where Anas goes to... Or I'm not sure the question he is trying to ask here, but I guess you're trying to ask where he goes to rest or where he lives or nests. This one says, let's let Anas do his own thing. Okay, Wanda Rain says, no, in this situation, nobody can be trusted to protect Anas. Akwesi Apia says, Anas doesn't need any protection, Kra. He has God and good people protecting him already. Ghana police shouldn't even try or else he will expose them big time. Hashtag Anas must show. And this one is from Anesteria Maju. He says, Chair protection, like what will be the end of his career and life? That will be the end of his career and life, Impo. They will take bribe and expose him. Ruth Labik says, What Anas doesn't need any protection because God is by his side. And I'm happy for him that he is doing a good job for Mother Ghana. Mami Afrema says, The protection he can have is God and the people of Ghana. When your society wants to protect you, no one can harm you. Michael Norte also believes it is only God who can protect Anas from these vampires and rats. This one is from Malambodia. He says, yeah, Anas must be far away from the police. We don't trust them. Anas, we are waiting for the video. 
and this one is from John Enyan. He says, no need for any police protection because he doesn't want to be known to a lot of people. Kwabna Osei Jr. says, Anas is already protected by God. Who knows, maybe he, the police will take bribe and hand him over to his enemy. And this one is from Jonas Otunfo. He says, even if they ask for protection from the police, they will not admit that at the first place because Anas will expose them all due to the bribes they also take. Wow, we don't have a lot of confidence in our police personnel. Israel, do we? Un unfortunately, but we need to trust the we police. Need, we, need, we do need to trust. I'm hoping that we're going to get to a point where we can trust the police. Yeah, and we won't get comments like this. So let's get on to what's up. And uh, number of, uh, quite a number of messages are coming through. Papanko Tamale says, yeah, he should be granted that protection from the security agencies, but only those trusted ones. And then he says, only God can protect him from these evil doers. <laughs> I'm trying to get to some of the messages that came in a lot earlier. Okay, so this one says, Anas needs no uh, protection because he can disappear. <laughs> disappear? That's Suzanne Kendra from Pando, really. I didn't know that. The security self, they need Anas protection. Law. It's like the security that <laughs> needs Anas' protection. You can't hide behind the loopholes of the law to fool Ghanaians who react appropriately. I don't know exactly how you mean or what you mean. And then for how long would our president remain dead? Go to, okay, I'm not quite getting this one either. The national security should allow an answer because he has come of age. And do we even know him? That's done. Oh, hoy. Uh, this one that says the judges the say, what's, if secret filming is illegal, then what is secret taking of bribes? JMT from home. The police cannot be trusted. Uh, nobody's above the law. So an answer video must be shown to the public. You didn't actually add your name. And... Uh, Kent from Ohio says, Anas Hermione and Anas needs the maximum protection because he can be assassinated for the marvelous work done. As well as Benson from Taka says, How can you trust the people protecting him? He has done this, the, this for years and he's always doing well. No need for any protection. God is with him. Quite a number of messages still coming through. Peter from Taka says, Why will you need protection to go undercover? What then is the relevance of the cover? Please, let's allow the police to do their reasonable national duties, which they're even struggling with. It's called <laughs> occupational hazard, <laughs> and he knew before choosing to go that line. It's not necessary. Let me go to the very recent, some of the very recent messages that have come through. Oh, quite, there are quite a number. Right? No one can harm Anas because God is with him, from Soko Dria in Koko. And... This other one, okay, Jaja Ponchin, new name, oh no. Um, <laughs> the police is never needed here, we plead them. Let's see which other message is this. It's a photo. <laughs> right, so it says, Ghana is corrupt, the woes of this country, you and I, they inside. Uh, so everybody's so, talking about this, your God will show, soon show our individual corruption on the judgment day. That's from... Uh, Lottie, Lottie Jones. Jones and uh, Ken Ken from Ebrusu from Pando says Ghana police are not trusted or from Ken Ebrusu. All right, so those are some of your WhatsApp comments. Let's talk about this story of a 13 year old who was beaten up by five police officers in Ejumaku. Beatrice Edu was following the story for us earlier today. Here's a li little snippet. <laughs> They used their baton to beat me. They also used their gun as well. They accused me of being part of the youth fomenting trouble. I said no, but they beat me, put me in handcuffs. My legs started swelling. They must have told them to send me home, but they left me on the streets. The woman brought me home. So a number of residents and neighbors have trooped to this compound house wanting to know what is actually happening. I have one of the residents here. Let's try to get more on what he knows about this situation. Hello, sir. Uh, 
So that's a pretty disappointing one there when police protection goes wrong, Israel. But let me go on to Facebook and take some of your comments coming through on there. And this one is from Mamudu Fuseni. He says, is that how our security handle alleged cases? That's very bad. Do wonder now residents also take the law into their hands by also doing the same. And Otrip Samuel says, since the, the police themselves the police themselves are always like that but if it were to be a different security agency personnel okay you don't finish your point christian mess is asking why they should beat him tahiru kamaldin says this is the result of recruiting unqualified people into such a sensitive profession this one is from prince nuruddin baumia he says very bad and he thinks that the bogus policemen must be sanctioned and Jemima Ansa is asking how they can do that to a small boy instead of protecting him. Can they do this to their children? And Na Ababio is also asking a similar question. How can a minor be treated in such a manner? Obviously, no law. And Opoku Patrick is the police, is the boy his son? And this one is from Jehovahson Mensa. He says, I'm warning these criminals in police uniform to desist from beating up my people let us all fight this rot in order to save the force that's from jehovah's son mensa and endless love jerry Afeku says why should some policemen do this are they to protect or to cause harm and irresistible nathaniel Boachi says this is not the first time years ago in tema they beat a 15 year old for calling them guti and when I inter intervened, they threatened to lock me up. I made a complaint um, with Pips Online and they didn't bother to even respond. And Abraham is asking what the government is going to do about this. It is really bad. And this one from Amos Sachampong says, oh, sorry, freedom of movement, Pani. And I'll take the final one from Valentine Kodia on Facebook. And he or she says, you see all this and you ask yourself, are we living in a jungle? So those are some of the comments on this particular story. All right. One of the people who sent in the message is uh, where Abraham says, what is the government going to do about, do about this? this? That is really bad. I don't know what the government is going to do about it, but at least I know that Beatrice Sedu, who covered or who did the particular story, she has all these strong uh, security links, and I know she's going to be following that story, yeah. so we can expect a lot more coming from her. Let's get on to uh, our magic wall and on to WhatsApp. Before we get on to WhatsApp, I just want to tell you a bit more about our hashtag. The hashtag is Join News Prime, as you can see here. So hashtag Join News Prime, and it will be easier for us to get your messages and read your messages because it appears we are sidelining those Sweet. in the Twitter sphere and want to change that. We would really want to do that. So take up the hashtag, hashtag join news prime and we'll read their comments. Let's go on to uh, WhatsApp now. So it goes, um, hi, God is already protecting us. Okay. Um, Peter from Takada, the same police we are discussing as to whether they should protect us. Please, <laughs> Israel, you guys should follow the story and straightening this illness. We will. Kwepu B, a branch of Aguna Kwenyako, police protection trio. The Tiger Air Squad is not, it's, uh, okay. Kwepu B, a branch here, says uh, that's what happens in the villages. Some of the policemen partner uh, bad people and do what they like. Some even smoke with them. I'm following this myself. That's good to know and keep us posted. And our security agency should be cautioned because they can't keep violating the law. That's from Odam Paul Mensah. This one says, simply says, oh, Ghana. This other person, Abugri, Abugri Felix, uh, inside Zebilate, she says, the police reputation has been soiled. 
and uh, the Raphael KJB from KJB says a 13 year old boy ordeal is just a gist of what Anas will receive if he gives in to any police force for protection. This is how far this guy is taking it. Everyone is scared of Anas, even the madman on the streets. Anas will soon discover they are not mad. But you and know, we should say that not all police are like that. Well, yeah, you just, know, just like not every all the judges has exactly are every taking institution rights. has bad nuts. So yes. it's, it's pretty sad that this so, happened. Courage from Pando, let's continue with our WhatsApp. Courage from Pando says, trust a thief, trust a thief and run away from the police. Hmm, God hmm. is watching them. And this one says, uh, police, Pani, that's Selby from Donkwa. They only know how to take one Ghana from driver. That's, that's all. They know a, a bit more than that. Please be fair to them. And then Ghana police be warned. Uh, the same police will end up beating an ass. They claim to protect Abba from Tutu. Uh, you know. All right, finally, let's talk about Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe. Zimbabwe's parliament opened earlier today and the president read the wrong speech. Now, according to the BBC, it is the same speech he read during his State of the Nation address just three weeks ago. <laughs> He read that speech on the 25th of August and as you saw, uh, members of parliament were actually heckling him. Now, this time around, according to the BBC, a uh, text message was sent to some of the MPs and it, it was from someone uh, called Death and apparently the message read, warning, immunity ends in parliament. Act wisely by not disturbing the proceedings of Parliament. So this is what happened when he was reading uh, the same speech this time around, which we are told that, you know, it was a, a mix-up. And we all know that this kind of stuff happens. But let's see how you've been reacting to this story on Facebook. And this one is from Nyamado Desmond. He says, why always Africa? Well, it's not always Africa, you know. There are examples of the American president also reading the wrong speech. And this one is from Nanto Mabahamadu. Badum, Su Badum Sugu, he says, I have a lot of respect for Mugabe because of the love he has for Africa, but he's too old to govern and he should step down. And this one for, from Lottie Joe says, even in addressing the whole ECOWAS parliament, uh, ECOWAS parliament, President Mahama goofed how much more a president who uses magnifying glass to even sip water. <laughs> That's a funny one from Lottie Jones. And this one is says, it's from Samuel, and he says, Mugabe is all in all. We all make mistakes. How much more someone who is 90 years old? And this one is from General Nkunda, who is asking, what is your problem, BBC? And Guza Ashate is saying, Mugabe define okay okay that's not part of what we are talking about and those are some of the comments coming via facebook all right so we'll be getting on to what's up in a bit uh, but uh, let me just celebrate our very first uh, twitter follower who's the uh, hashtag user join news prime and this has to do with an alias show we talked about so owusu and sir frank says this is just bad how can the people supposed to protect us beat us in return that's heartbreaking and he was he's making reference to the story about the 13 year old boy who was assaulted by the police so let's get on to what's up now now it says uh, this man fell down last year and reading old speech this year hmm, there is there is God. Oh. It's his there secretary's is, yeah. fault. BG or his secretariat. And then Peter from Takrad is the same police we are discussing as to why whether they should. Okay, uh, your text. The cane used in beating Techi should be used to beat Ba. There's at someone who thinks he's better than Mugabe's secretary. <laughs> I'm coming to that. <laughs> I think we know. At least we know that our dear president was just another victim of probably um, incompetent secretaries. Let me see if we can find. Okay, so this guy says. Kaspar from Kwando says, I think I'm better than his, this secretary. He can employ me instead because I need quick employment. <laughs> <laughs> President Pa. And this was the mama's friend, hmm, Asemu from Sokudia at uh, Nkoko. Mugabe Pa, hmm, I guess he also has the dead goat syndrome, passing by him. Anyway, he's still my hero. That's Bob Etonam. And uh, Felix Amu from Ibra Dunkwa says, Sankofa Wuhui Yenchi. This is so embarrassing, he says. And I think the secretary to the president must be sacked with immediate effect. There's a Busu from Pando. Draft 4, Emmanuel. 
missing here, GH missing there. Okay, not quite getting it. But when will African Africa be a better place? We are a great place. It says African leaders are not <laughs> serious. It happened in Ghana, birthing, but nothing was done and it's happened again. Ah, Adzing. That's where could be a branch of Agona Kwinyako. And then uh, my final uh, WhatsApp message, old, oh, old Mugabe, Martini in Coco. Oh, let me take this just one because... Uh, Kent. Kent. It says, uh, ha, 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 I think the same thing happened in Ghana and we all know it. Missing speech. All right. And that's about it for the interactive segment brought to you by Airtel. Enjoy more talk, longer text and all the internet browsing. Dial star 202 hash now to enjoy these privileges from the smartphone network. My name is Ifwa Kwa Harrison. Thanks for your company. Joy News Interactive was brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network.